And the Title 52 pickup refers, of course, to that old joke about a card game where you throw the cards in the air and someone else has to pick all 52 of them up. In the movie, Roy Scheider plays a successful businessman whose life is a house of cards that has been thrown in the air by blackmailers who have videotape proof that he's been cheating on his wife. When Scheider refuses to pay them, they murder his lover, frame him, and then up the ante. Rather than pay the ransom, Scheider decides to go after the trio of thugs one by one. And his journey takes him into the drug and porno worlds where he interviews a prostitute who is friendly with a young girl he'd been seeing. Leo has a couple of pals. A white one and a black one. Honey, I ain't gonna say nothing. It's a little piece up there, huh? The white guy. Smooth talker, businessman. You trust him, Doreen? What's his name? <laughs> For some reason, I'm not getting through to you. Anne Margaret plays Scheider's wife, and after she gets mad at him, she agrees to help him. And here they combat the most brutal of the extortionists. How come you come busting in here when I'm going to hand you fifty thousand dollars in cash? Fifty thousand. Fifty-two. That's the deal I made with Alan. Didn't he tell you? That was Clarence Williams of the Third. Remember him from TV's Mod Squad a long time ago? Haven't seen him in a very long time, and he's a pretty good villain in this piece. In fact, a number of the performances are very good, especially Roy Scheider and John Glover is the leader of the extortion gang. He is creepy and smart. The movie broke down, though, for me in two ways. One, I thought its story was highly contrived, too many loopholes in behavior. And second, I thought the violent sex in the film was much more than I cared to stomach. And that comes from the same guy who last week said he liked the violent, sexually violent, something wild, and I also like the sexually violent Blue Velvet. But this picture, I thought, really lingered over its violence, and that turned me off, even though I did enjoy the performances and the general outline of the story. It's a close call, but I wouldn't recommend 52 Pickup to a friend. Well, I would recommend it to a friend, and I thought it was one of the best movies in a long time by John Frankenheimer, the director, who That's has been true. through a bad period, That's and this true. is really his comeback with a vengeance. And I love John Glover's performance as the villain. Mm -hmm. I think one of the things that so many modern thrillers forget, mm -hmm. because they get a big star as the hero, That's and right. the whole movie is about the star, and the villains are just these people that come on and go through their rote and right. then leave and so forth. This villain is a great villain. In fact, yeah. there are three other uh, three villains in the movie altogether. Yeah. Glover is the best one, right. and he's so evil and so convincing in his evil and mm. so slick and yeah. so intelligent as you said yes. that that makes the movie work for right, me. Roger, would the movie would do you think the movie would be helped if they simply cut out some of the sex and the, the explicit sex? I think it would be helped tremendously. I, I would recommend it. For I think example. what they're trying to do is be true to the author of the novel, Elmore Leonard, who a mm. lot of people think is the best mystery writer in America today. And of course, in his in his books, yeah. the plots are complicated, just like this plot that you thought was too about complicated. Com not complicated. The violence is always very bizarre and very strung out, and I think yeah. they're trying to get that same feeling. It's one thing. This guy is a really slimy killer, and no, you've I got to that. identify how I slimy he is to make Scheider's reaction yeah. more but, convincing. What's on the page can be one thing. When it's put on the screen, mm -hmm. it can go overboard. And that's all I'm saying is I think that they went overboard and ruined what, in many other ways, is a good thing. Well, if there's one thing I know when I see a thriller, it's that I'm not going to be thrilled with a modern thriller nine times out of ten because they haven't had any imagination. So mm -hmm. this time it worked for me, so maybe I'm giving a pass to some of this other stuff. I don't know. Okay. I would recommend it.